On this step, folks, we're going to get the terrain all laid out and ready to go. So in your hierarchy panel, go ahead to 3D Object, click on Terrain. Okay, it's probably going to be way too big in the scene view, so what I'm going to do is hover over the scene view, use my mouse wheel to zoom out. And what you can do is hold down Alt, and that will actually change the camera position based on a point. And if you just right click, you can actually zoom around the camera just like in first person view. All right, so those are the two ways you move the camera. So Alt, left click, and just right click. All right, so anytime you want to move the camera around, those are going to be your two, two options. So now we need to start getting this terrain set up. So on the terrain, make sure you have it selected in the hierarchy panel. You have all these different tools over here. So the first one is how you're going to raise and lower terrain. So you can create a different brush size and opacity down here. The opacity is how strong or how fast the terrain changes between the different uh, levels as you click. You can actually change the actual brush type, which might be kind of cool, gives it a little more random effect. So I'm going to increase the brush size and increase the opacity just a little bit. All right, so as you go around and click, it's going to start to create mountains, Okay, as you can see. So the objective is to go around and create an island for your character to live on. We're making a game where it's an island survival. All right, so I'm just going to go around and raise the train. If you make a mistake and you want to go back down, click on any brush tool you want, hold down Shift, and click, and that'll lower the train as well. So you can make little flat areas too if you wanted to. All right, so I'm going to go around and put some mountains in here or there. All right, if your train looks way too bumpy, what I like to do is use the second tool over where you can actually paint it to a specific height. So let me zoom in so you can see this a little bit better. So for example, let me use my smooth brush here. And I can hold down shift to sample the height of the train at a given point. So if I hold down shift and click, notice the height changes to that. If I come over here to where the water is going to be, hold down shift and click, now it's at zero. So we want all of the land to actually be above zero because the water is going to cover anything at zero. So now when I go in and click, it's going to create a flat terrain at that level. If I increase this to five, and let me decrease the strength and do it again, it's going to increase to five. See how it starts to level off there. So if you want level parts of your land, you can do it that way. Or what might actually be a little bit nicer so it doesn't look man-made, is you can use the third tool over called Smooth Height. When you do this, it automatically tries to smooth out whatever you're doing. I, it seems to work best with the Solid Circle tool. Um, you don't want the splotchy one on this one. So as I hover over it, let me increase the opacity so it changes quicker. All right, now your train's not necessarily level, but you get a nice even flow, and it doesn't look like a bunch of bumps. All right, so something like that. All right, so I'm just going to go over this terrain, make it nice and smooth. All right, once you're done with that, it should be nice and smooth. We've already spent a lot of time on this, so most of you guys probably will skip this video. However, I'm just giving you the short version so you can get done with your project. Make sure you give it a quick save so you don't lose any of your progress and you're ready to actually start painting on the train.